Hey everybody, welcome to another video. In today's video I'm going to show you how I like to manage my work. I use this app called Coda and I have this document called databases and this holds all the information about my clients, projects and issues. In this other window here this is how a client would look at their client dashboard. So they'd see their projects, their issues, and then a section to submit an issue. The issues section is laid out in a Kanban style view. Uh, so you can see at which stage each issue is at. And then you can click on them to uh, expand and see all the information about that issue. Clients can also leave comments on an issue um, just by jumping in and writing a comment. There are different types of issues that you can submit. Tasks, questions and bug reports. Some of the fields are required so keep that in mind when submitting an issue and bug report has some additional required fields to submit the URL for the page that you're having an issue with or a bug on, the operating system that you're using to access the website and the browser. These are just extra pieces of information that are really helpful for troubleshooting. Once an issue is all filled out You can click submit. You'll need to wait a minute for the issue to show up here. Uh, that's because it goes through a bit of a pipeline. Because this is using an external service, it's actually using a webhook to send it back to Coda and then some additional custom code that I wrote to make this sync up with the central database that I showed you earlier. As you can see it's shown up now and you can expand it and there's all the information for that issue. The biggest thing to take into consideration with this approach is that the client cannot edit any of this data after it has been submitted. So if you made a typo or a mistake in some of the information. Don't worry about it, just leave a comment and I'll update it for you. I made this diagram to show you how I was thinking when designing the system. So I have that central databases document that I showed you earlier and then that filters out to each client to show each client's information and then from that centralized data I can create a daily to-do list and other useful things. So thanks for watching and if you have any questions about this approach let me know. If you're interested in working with me you can contact me on LinkedIn and at my work email which is stephen at plumduffer.dev. I'll put all of that in the description below. But until next time, take it easy.